So can you tell me your name and how old you are? Five and I am, and my name is Holly, five and a half. Is there something different about Jack? Yes, he doesn't know as much as we do and how to do as much as we okay. do. What's your favorite thing about going to UCP? How I can help. And what does that make you feel like when you get to help people? Happy. Jack and Holly are 15 months apart. Um, we had a normal pregnancy, normal birth, and he developed normally until about a year. We at that time discovered that his pancreas doesn't function as far as digesting food. So he has to take replacement enzymes every time he eats or drinks anything. At 18 months, he started having seizures. And at that time, we did a little bit of further digging um, and via MRI discovered that he had a form of brain damage um, called periventricular leukomalacia, which has left him with some left-sided weakness and some learning disabilities. This past school year alone, he had nine sedated procedures, spent about a month in the hospital. It's actually at the point now where the seizures are causing scar tissue damage to his brain, so he's losing more function. So now we've actually traveled up to Boston Children's Hospital a couple times, and we're working with their genetics team and their um, neurology team to try to find an answer for him. It's hard on Holly. I think she assumes more responsibility than a normal five-year-old. Jack and Holly went to our church preschool their first couple years and his first year of preschool. They weren't equipped to handle it, and at that time, they suggested UCP. We decided together as a family, Holly should decide where she was gonna go to school. So we let her tour the school she would, be, would have been assigned to, and then we toured UCP and let her choose. And uh, we explained to her that at UCP, she'd be with her brother and children that, that you know may be a little bit different like Jacko. And uh, it was no contest. I mean, she immediately was like, absolutely, I wanna go where Jack goes. Inclusion students are able to help the younger students and our students with more special needs be able to accomplish more goals and learn more of the concepts and the reading programs and the math programs that we have. So they're, they're a big help within the classroom. They get to be able to do many different things within the classroom and experience things that most typical students in a regular gen ed classroom would not be able to experience. Common question um, is, oh, where do your kids go to school? And when I say UCP, they say, do both of your kids have special needs? When I explain to them that it's just Jack and they take inclusion kids um, that we send Holly and how much we love it and how much it's taught her, it's a new thing to, to them. I try to explain how much it's um, benefited her in understanding our family and understanding um, that we're not the only ones that have challenges. The fact that UCP offers that, I think, uh, I, I think it's great. Just, uh, I think Holly gets a lot more one-on-one, -on -one and she's probably going to come out of this ahead of where she may have been in a mainstream school. So, the inclusion program within our classroom helps Holly understand more of not being the only little girl that has to deal with a family with special needs. And in the same respect, I also think that it helps Holly's growth in understanding what special needs are and what her part is in it. UCP has helped Holly foster that caring nature that she has. Um, she loves helping the kids in class and she just has this caretaker way about her anyway. So I think she assumes the responsibility of trying to help everyone. Holly's growth has been exceptional. She is this most caring, wonderful, spirited little girl. Um, most times putting someone else's needs first. Holly has changed us. Uh, she's taught me to pay a lot more attention to everybody uh, where I think 
I used to go through life just kind of skimming the surface and uh, and she notices everything. She notices more if somebody needs a little extra attention, a little extra help. She's so patient. She's already such a compassionate child. Now she knows how, what to do with it. If Holly were sitting here with me right now, um, I don't know that I could find the words to tell her how proud I am of her and how she's, she's saved my life. Michael and I say it all the time that she saved our lives. She has this bright, compassionate spirit and I, I don't know how I would do this without her. Um, she is this light, um, this shiny spot in the day that just makes you really want to put one foot in front of the other despite adversity. She makes our family complete.